Hi guys, today we're gonna make a pop up card. So, ta da! All you need is one piece of art block, um, your magic markers, a ruler, and an eraser. That's it. So, once you make it, you could even change the animal that's in the tree and you could write your own message. And when the person receives it, they can pop it up and put it on their table. So, have fun! Send us pictures. Tag us on Instagram and Facebook, Wimba the Card Game. Okay, so we're going to start with making the base. And then we're going to do a second bit where we are going to do the tree. So I would do it this way. And I would use a long ruler because it's easier. I'm going to measure 6 centimeters across the page. 1, 12... 24 okay and I'll leave that extra there it's not a problem I'm gonna go further up a little bit more I'm going to do the same thing 6 12 18 24 and I'll leave that extra and then I will turn my paper and do two sets of six here so that's six there and twelve there then I'll go down this side and do the same thing yeah that's twelve so I want six and okay so first I'll go this way, take that dot down to the other dot, I'll do this one, okay, then now I want to do three sets of six. Okay, so I usually don't press my pencil very much, but I'm doing it a little bit more obvious for you so that you can see the strokes. Now, using your scissors, you're going to cut the first one out, yeah? I'm going to keep that aside and then I'm going to work on this one a little bit more. So I want the center piece and I'm going to find, um, so this is 6 and that's 12. I want to get, to th I want a half of that, so 3 of that and then 12 and half of that is 15. Okay, so I want to do the same thing here. 6 and 12 and then I have my 15 and 3 mark I'm going to draw this line I'm going to draw this line okay so now I'm not going to cut this one yet but I know that these bits I'm gonna keep and these ones I don't want okay so I'm gonna cut down this line here okay so now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my tree I want to make the 
trunk and then I want my tree to go as tall as this and as wide as this so that kind of gives me a little bit of a, a shape that I want to make right so I'm gonna make a big bush around my tree and small bushes as well so this is the canopy in my tree okay so now I'm gonna take my eraser to clean up the rough outlines I prefer erasing as I go because then later I don't have to just spend a chunk of time cleaning up so I try to clean up as I go and always have one hand down pressing onto the paper so that it doesn't crumple it doesn't move I don't accidentally erase things that I don't want to erase okay so I'm quite satisfied with that right so now now we're gonna draw our Siamang friend so I want to draw him on this side because I want to write here I want to put a message there so I'm going to try to draw my Siamang friend here so I think his arms are kind of like that and that's a rough of his head and then I want his other arm to be like this because remember Siamang is swing right they're really good tree um, swingers so I want his leg to end up there I'm just gonna do a draw, a rough drawing first, and then we can fill it in once we like the position and all the bits. Okay, so I kind of like that already. So I want his that's his hand. This is his arm. So Siamang's head usually looks a little bit like that, and then he's got a fluffy head his arms just a little bit longer yeah I think that's about right then that's his body that's his leg maybe his leg can be a bit longer and then his body okay so now I'm erasing as I go I feel like this leg can be a little bit longer So again, I'm not pressing too hard because I want to draw his fur later. So a Siamang generally has this like very prominent brow got a very defined uh, mouth and nose yeah I would leave it there for now okay and if I want to draw his coat I just make it a bit fluffy hairy furry right uh, just giving it a bit of a shaggy look I'm just following my original line and remember his arm hair will go that way right so if his hand is like that I want to make the hair look that way If you don't like whatever you see, you can always erase it and draw it again. Um, yeah, be patient with yourself because sometimes it doesn't come out right the first time. Yeah, But again, it's practice and that's why we do art classes, right? Okay. Right, so my siamang in the tree. And if you remember, the siamang is the only swinging and singing ape we have. And... 
I think it's the only eight that sings in the world. So, yeah, it's in the Gibbon family that sings. Yeah. So my message is gonna be, save our singing and swinging. Yeah. Okay, so that's my card. If you want to color it, you color it now before you um, cut it out. So I'm going to get some color just to kind of give you a feel of coloring it out. So I'm just using normal um, color magic inks. So I'm just going to... You can, if you want, to erase the pencil lines. You can go ahead and do that after you've uh, drawn with your magic ink. Or you can draw directly with magic ink if you're comfortable with that. That's great. Okay. If you like shading, you can always shade the lower parts of the branches. You don't have to. It's really your own idea of what you like, okay? So. My siamang's gonna be really dark. see when I do it with my magic ink I am not fully covering everything I want a little bit of the patchy look so that there is texture okay I don't want to do his face too much because it will be too dark um, and I don't have black in my kit of color so I'm going to leave that for now um, I want to do the brown for the trunk of the tree yeah so I think maybe the trunk of the tree yeah I'll kind of like There's a branch over there and a branch over there. Okay. So now the cutting part, yeah. You can continue coloring this if you want. Just gonna go and show you. Remember we did the line that we extended by three centimeters? Okay. That's one of that, and that's another one. I'm just gonna cut out of my shape so that I have a smaller piece of paper to handle. Yeah, take your time to cut the shape out because when you are practicing this and you are getting the shape right, you are actually improving how you handle the scissors for other projects in the future. So remember, it's practice. So this is a practice for other projects that you do. And you never know, you might make this card again and the skill might come in handy the next time you try it.
So yeah, keep cutting. You could erase this before you cut it. That would make it easier to erase. As you cut, don't worry too much if you ran over or if you cut through a particular section of your plant, you can always go back on it with uh, magic ink. And you can keep colouring it in if you want after this cut session. your ruler you're gonna place it on the line for one side doesn't matter which side you're gonna fold the paper upwards and run your fingernail on the bottom to press press that out yeah on the other side you're going to find the line and press it out the other way okay so what you're gonna get is this shape okay so you want this shape doesn't matter which side is uh, facing, as long as you get an opposite direction shape like that, okay? So that's one. Let's put that aside. Then we had the first one that we did. So for this one, we're going to keep folding it backwards oh, or forwards. It's fine. So we put this on the line. Make sure that it's, it's really following the line on both sides so that it's straight. Press it up. Okay, let's do another one. Find the two ends of the line. Press it up. Find another two ends of the line. Press it up. And then for the last one, do the same. Okay, now you've got that. You're going to get some glue and you're going to do this. So when you connect this box together, you're going to get a square, right? You connect the strip, you get a square. You add this in between, right? And you get the tree standing up in the middle. Get it? So what you're going to do is, so if you're going to tack these two together, I would mark this and this wall and this wall for this wall, right? Okay, so now I'm going to use this bit here. Okay, so this bit here and this bit here. See, I put the mark there. Okay. So remember, it needs to be in opposite directions. And when this comes in, I want this line to be matching with this piece so that it folds nicely. And remember this bit here with that bit there. So we want it to be on that line and then Okay, then this guy you can just stick together. Okay. So now, we have a standing card that can fold. So you could say, you could write a message here. Like, um, dear, sorry, I put the comma there. Dear Bam, thank you for your work. 
E G I B B O N Gibbon S A N C T E A R Y Nisha And when she gets it she's gonna see it pop out like that. How awesome is that, right? Okay.